Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Leo. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Leo, I'm doing your reading with a blend of decks, so you'll see a mix of several in your spread today. Okay, so you've got the count, count your chickens on the split, which is usually like um, a queen of swords type of an energy for me. And I'm golden at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so something about bumping up against this count your chickens is leading to this I'm golden. I see this as a golden ticket actually, which is what, like Willy Wonka? Um, being lucky perhaps. You do have the nine of earth as the first card on the table. And I was thinking that this is, today it's really emphasizing abundance and it was feeling to me almost as if it was a, a gift. I believe maybe because this scene is kind of holiday feeling. It's like this pine cone has been gifted to her and because of that gift, she's free essentially. She, she is sovereign because of that a gift of sovereignty. Um, but the count your chickens, I almost feel like it's instead of it being an individual that's representing a queen of swords or somebody who's particularly challenging today with all of these energies surrounding, it almost feels like taking stock or taking inventory, almost as if there's been something golden. You've already been holding this golden ticket for some time it may or may not have been gifted, perhaps in the past. Maybe it's some form of inheritance, something that was passed along to you, maybe around a holiday season. Um, and it's like because you're because you're kind of sorting and sifting and, and assessing things, you stumble upon it perhaps, right? With the three of cups right underneath that, which is like the celebration card, which the lovers is coming out right beneath it, right? There's all this kind of high-fiving celebration around this, I want to say it's a discovery, around the discovery of something quite valuable that's been in your possession. Actually, interestingly, with these cards coming up later in the reading, it's almost as if it could have been kind of stashed away in your, if you're a collector, if you're somebody who collects, especially antiques, perhaps it's something in there, some sort of an antique or, or something in the drawer of, of a piece of furniture, something like that. Okay, overall energy from um, what we've forgotten, Oracle. Transfiguration. Transfiguration, ancient wisdom is beneath that and I'm reluctant to take it, but I feel like it's like the ancient wisdom is backing this transfiguration. Okay, I feel like this overall energy, it kind of goes in with this I'm golden. They're feeling very similar. Is that um, whatever this is that you're discovering, that like I said, it seems to already be in your possession. But maybe it's a new acquisition. It's just that it it's talking about that the value of it was not realized right away. I mean, you could have purchased something in an antiques market, you know, last week weak and not really realized the value of it, something like that. It's like it's been in your possession for however long. It's basically just saying the value wasn't apparent. And whatever that is, is giving you this, uh, this power of transfiguration, a power, power to really change some aspects, perhaps in your life, perhaps in other people's lives. And you got, okay, so you've got the nine of earth and you, and the chariot, because of this nine of earth, because of this wealth, abundance, uh, abundance of resources, abundance of resources, perhaps leading to an abundance of freedom because with the chariot card, it's like you just want to, well, you want to make big changes and you want to make them quickly is how it's coming through. But the interesting thing is, and I think I've said this in a reading recently, is that, um, most people don't actually really know what they want. Like if you, if you were to win the, the lottery today, do you know what you would do with it? Have you ever thought or planned or actually, you know, envisioned what it would be like to have absolute freedom to go and do anything that you, anything that you desire with the daring heart coming up next and the two of swords. It's talking about this, this 
your spirit, your beingness wants to do something incredible, something really daring in a sense, something really big, especially if you feel like you're harnessing these energies, this transfiguration combined with the chariot as well. It's like you're feeling really empowered or really powerful or just feeling that you have a lot of, of power at your disposal, right? So this seems to be a big shift that is happening for you. In the, a big shift in your ability to do, right? So here it's like, but what am I going to do? With the Two of Swords coming up saying, I'm not completely sure. This Two of Swords actually is also a liberation card as well. So it's like you have absolute freedom to do and almost like as big or as daring as you'd like to go. But maybe first, in the meantime, you should be spending some time with some loved ones is what's coming up here because you've got the star and the cautious heart coming up next. The star, there's just this really big energy. I want to say because it's tied to this, all of the energy around your reading feels like you have a lot at your disposal. And because of that, you want to really go big, right? There's like, you want to do something extraordinary. So the star card coming in is feeling like, it's interesting, it's actually coming through as really altruistic. Like you're wanting to give, you're wanting to maybe um, just like give help to as many as possible, I wanna say to help mend situations, to help to correct injustices perhaps. But the star is also just coming through with this idea of, of big, big wishes. Big, big wishes, but at the same time, the cautious heart is coming up next to have enough wisdom to get back up. Okay, so, but that's what, okay, that's what this ancient wisdom is talking about. There's this idea of wisdom your own wisdom, perhaps wisdom, um, advice, counsel coming from some friends here in this Ten of Cups and the Lovers energy is advising you to kind of be cautious, to be careful, to be wise in this situation, which is basically kind of um, telling you to slow down. If not slow down, at least take some time to really celebrate and enjoy this moment. Actually, it's interesting because I feel like it's almost as if you're throwing a party, you're having a gathering, um, maybe even just a really lighthearted kind of brainstorming session, right? Like bringing, bringing other people into the situation to ask. It's almost as if you're like taking a survey of what what can we do? Maybe you're bringing other people into this because I'm saying we. What can we do with this? What can we do with this? But at the same time, it could just be a kind of like a letting off steam. It's just, it's just a good old like having a party. <clears throat> but what's fascinating about it is this Eight of Wands is coming up next. And I feel like it's coming out of this. It's almost like by getting together with your friends and really just having no cares really it's just this incredibly lighthearted thing there's also something about this card at camp this card there's a message in this card that came up years ago i want to say even four to five years ago that there's something about this string of pearls that is kind of like on the edge of my awareness and i can't quite remember what it was it could just be talking about kind of like making connections like pulling it's almost like pulling a thread and bringing up all of these pearls, pearls of wisdom perhaps, but um, especially with the eight of wands coming after it, it's something like, well, maybe this group of friends, I know it's the lovers, but it almost comes through more as like a three of cups to me, right? This kind of celebration energy because they, they look like they're high-fiving, right? Or it looks like a wedding. So it's just, it's, it's a, an energy of lighthearted lightheartedness but there's something about there's something really key about getting together with this group that is bringing in like a lot of information it, it seems really significant here so and this could be kind of your own spirit advising you to be careful basically saying like don't rush into anything it's not like there's any red flags or any cautions or anything here it's just saying don't rush into making any really big decisions because all of your energy here is just like, let's, let's go big. Let's do something really big and extraordinary. So the caution, wisdom, the friends kind of coming around are saying, 
before before we dive into anything really over the top let's just get together and have a conversation and have a few drinks and just and just brainstorm this with the eight of wands coming up next though it feels like there's all this kind of information coming up because you're with this group of friends it seems like this is this is the key element here is that by spending time with them it's almost maybe like memories coming up especially with these pearls like pulling on these these threads is kind of bringing in all these this information well it's interesting actually because because the way the reading started here with the count your chickens and the i'm golden almost feeling it as if you're doing it feels like you're doing some sort of physical inventory or maybe it's like a decluttering spring cleaning type of thing and because of that has stumbled you've stumbled upon something quite valuable I almost feel like this could be actually like information of some sort an abundance like an, an abundance of information a, a piece of information that really kind of gives you a lot of influence somehow it gives you a lot of power perhaps but here it is coming through as as information it's like you're sorting through your physical possessions or you're kind of uh maybe you're evaluating your net worth and realizing that your your net worth is a lot more than you realized it's kind of going back to a month or two ago where i was getting all this kind of like hidden wealth hidden wealth type of an energy it's almost as if you have some hidden wealth that you didn't even know that you had it was hidden even from you right but as you're spending time here in this kind of leisurely moment with your friends i feel like all these memories are coming forward that are really significant that maybe are really pointing to something that maybe the the biggest wish that you would have if you had sat down to think about it in advance because that seems to be what's happening here in a sense okay what am i trying to say here it's like against the clock which is interesting because that's the idea it's kind of this like don't rush into anything um be wise and take time to assess the against the clock and trusting heart coming out together there was something really fascinating with these two cards that was telling me this story that was something like again kind of going into it's already within your possession the against the clock especially tied in with this getting together with friends and almost like remembering things pulling on threads remember this person is connected to this person is connected to this person or this situation leads to a memory it's like all these things are tied together it's almost as if you're going through your own um this memoir is not the right word uh, like souvenirs and things like that there's a word that i think that starts with m and i can't pull it forward it's like all these trinkets and belonging it's like you're a collector right it's like you're this collector that it's almost like something is buried underneath your collection and it could be a collection of information but it feels like with these cards at least visually it's this collection of stuff that is leading to this 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 card here talks to me actually about almost like an aspect of yourself this practice of yours whatever this is it's like you have a practice that you do naturally that is something like collecting or gathering really beautiful things that's kind of what this is talking about and it almost feels like things have gotten buried and layered and kind of forgotten you know they've got a bit of a, a tarnish on them what's that called um it's like uh I can't think of that it's like a patina is that the word everything's got kind of a patina on it everything's feeling a little bit um like it hasn't seen the light in a while but that's interesting so going back to here the transfiguration and the eight of wands there's something about that the, this pulling all of this stuff out into the light at this point in time at this point in time something to do with timing perhaps is kind of well because maybe because it's a whole collection right going back to this I'm golden like all of the it's like all of the pieces it's like each piece individually might not be that significant but when you put it all together and this could be information too it might be objects it might be actual physical wealth could be gold for example not realizing that you have little 
pieces of gold stashed around places. But when you like start digging it out, and it has something to do with this too. I don't know why this is significant, right? Because this is where all the pearls are being pulled out. It has to do with sitting around with these friends. It could be that you're kind of, you've discovered an aspect of it and then you get together with your friends and continue digging through, right? Continue digging through and kind of pulling out more and more gems from this stockpile of stuff that you have stashed away. And it's like it's just growing and growing. But at the same time, there's something here about discovering. It's almost like a forgotten love of yours. A forgotten love of yours, which is really interesting because this rose here makes me think that it has something to do with, um, you know, just something that makes you, when you do it, when you spend time in that energy, whatever it is, it's like it's the most you you've ever been, right? But combined with this card here, I almost wonder... When I say forgotten love, if it has something to do with an actual relationship with an individual, perhaps that has been kind of, for some reason, has been put out of your mind, out of your life for a time. Perhaps there's something about what is happening here now with all of this, almost like this unfolding. It's like this fractaling abundance. It's like once you discover the thread, right? It's like you just realize you have one pearl and then you continue pulling on it and there's another pearl and another pearl and another pearl and with it is coming all of this kind of epiphany and information like revelation of information that is almost telling you this story or reminding you of the story of like your own past a significant something in your own past that you have kind of tucked away something that you absolutely love that feels more you than anything else which is really fascinating because up here where when i'm saying that as you're discovering that you have this abundance of whatever it is it's like your first instinct is to be very altruistic or to pull all of these other people into it right it's like it it's almost like it wants to be a committee a board something like that but here it's really coming back to being like very intimate and like personal it's bringing it back to this really personal focus with the four of cups it's interesting i was going to say that because there's something that you've forgotten and i don't i didn't mean to say that but it was just surfacing I was going to say that there's something that has been kind of overlooked or passed by i want to say intentionally the Four of Cups for me is, is often a card that is, you know, that you're overlooking or passing by or saying no to something um, because you're kind of distracted or pre, like preoccupied or caught up with something else and you're not seeing the significance of something. So it's almost like perceived as a distraction and kind of put off to the side. There's an interest. Is there a connection here between the star and this Four of Cups? I want to say there's a connection here. That there is a connection here. That this is this is a, a past opportunity that you had to stand in this position, maybe as an altruistic someone who has the ability to help many others, but for some reason it was put aside. Maybe because of this too many hats, the end of the reading here, which is actually bringing in a whole bunch of stuff. It's bringing in this idea of you are, you had too much on your plate to be able to stand as um, a benefactor, to be a benefactor, something like that. You had too much on your plate to be able to, you were juggling too many things to be able to almost like lift your head and look around and assess the environment around you. You were too locked into your immediate personal situation which is really interesting because because it's flipping in and out of that this kind of like altruistic being of service and coming back to self so maybe that's what we're talking about here it's coming back to self because there's something like in over the course of time you had, you've been through so many almost like different stories, different timelines that the pieces are kind of scattered and fragmented about something like that. When you pull out all your own trink trinkets and souvenirs, 
from the from the court like over the course of your whole life and spread them out on the table you're going to see an incredible abundance there and like i said it could be an abundance of information it could just be um like a full picture coming into view for you about something that is so meaningful to you but it's almost as if it's almost as if it was missed maybe because you were or maybe you're like an overgiver, right? So maybe the star energy did start a long time ago that you've been in service this whole time and almost kind of putting your own needs aside. This is this feels like it's it's kind of clicking in here. You've been putting your own needs aside, including like whatever this is, if this is an individual, like for whatever reason you didn't get to fulfill or explore an individual or relationship because you were so busy being of service and helping everybody around you. But now, now that you seem to have more abundance than ever, you can go bigger than ever. And your instinct, like I said, is to is almost like to give it all away. The cards, the guidance here is kind of saying, but you haven't actually kind of pursued this, whatever this is. It's interesting. It's almost becoming the, the cover of a book. I'm almost seeing this as like a journal or a note, like your own journal. And if you open it up, you're going to kind of, that's what this is all talking about. It's like your instinct is to go out into the world and do big grand gestures or something. And this is all saying like, come back into yourself, come back into yourself and kind of rummage through all your own stuff and almost like rediscover who you are and what your passions are, because there's, there's something, or there's maybe more than one thing, more pat, more than one passion of yours that has been kind of put aside because of this too many hats idea. But the too many hats even is also kind of, playing into this whole idea of like all of this stuff that has gathered around you, right? It's like you have been so many different versions of yourself over the years, kind of in this, maybe in this star position, have been fulfilling all of these different roles on behalf of others. That it's saying like now that, uh, you know, you're taking these off layer by layer by layer by layer and really kind of, it's almost as if you're getting to know yourself for the first time but it but it also feels like there's there's a really key it's kind of the very center of your reading there's this key love this forgotten love or this um it's not forgotten it's just been like undernourished it's been tucked away it hasn't seen the light of day for a long time it's like it has to be brought out and dusted off it's this love of yours that hasn't been addressed or fulfilled that now that you have more freedom, more abundance than ever, it like the cards are saying, it's almost like invest in yourself, invest in your own life for once. Okay, so I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended and see what else wants to come out about this. If you're interested in that, link is in the description. And I'll see you next time, Leo. Thanks, bye.